All right, so here is the TSMPPT60 installed at its final resting place on the side of my breaker cabinet in the battery room. Everything's hooked up a bit haphazardly and all the cables are cut to rather general purpose lengths since I'm probably going to be moving this system within a year but I have got my laptop running over there which is plugged to the serial part of the Morningstar controller and we're ready to flip the breakers for the first time so this is it, I know that the battery breakers are working, I tried flipping those but I haven't really done much else so let's connect together battery banks 1, 2, 3, 3 battery banks 4 and 5 and now we should be able to flip the main breaker which will supply power to the TSMPPT 60 controller. I'll give you a good shot in case of this. Any particular smoke? And certainly nothing caught fire. I have a bit of a weird configuration programmed into the controller, that's why it thinks the battery is low, but I'm going to remedy that right, right after I try flicking the solar switch, the polarity of which I've verified several times. Here we go. No flames. So let's see if we can... Well, let's start by just solar powering the laptop. Start by flicking the breaker to the inverter. And turning the inverter on. And we have power, so that needs for running on battery power now. And we are connected and charging with 500 milliamps which is probably more than the inverter laptop are drawing so this really is a solar powered laptop would you believe it off of my 48 volt system let's see if we can see the battery voltage rising again the voltage set point is a bit weird but it should be charging anyway This one's going slightly down, but it's going to be, some of these uh, strings are going to be going down, some are going to be going up since they haven't been sitting connected together before. And this one's going up and down. Probably depends on the sunlight. Either way, solar power laptop. With a rather oversized laptop battery, I wonder how long this will run. Answer for about 35 days with its sunlight. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And now I've just set it up to basically just float my batteries until such time that there's enough usable sunlight for me to actually take some power out of them. So, for the time being, all that remains to do is turn off the lights and close the door. Alright, so today, the second day of having the Morningstar controller installed, this guy is getting retired. This is my old uh, battery voltage monitor, which is uh, very crudely set up on a temporary basis. There's uh, an old VGA cable coming from the battery room 
it's just rated haphazardly across the ceiling there and there's a broken battery powering the meter down there, it's got a short cell but it does well powering a 9 volt meter however the new system is quite a bit fancier would you look at that this is a uh, random trash picked uh, WDS, I believe, capable wireless router. So, this thing is just uh, set up to connect to my home network wirelessly and uh, give me a few Ethernet ports on the back. One of which is, of course, going to the Morningstar controller. Now, the eagle eyed or eagle brained might be thinking, how are you pairing this thing? Because this is a 12 volt unit. Now that's where the fancy rally starts because this is a little switching power adapter and this is just a bog standard uh, picked out of a scrap box uh, wall wart. It's used to take a little European plug adapter here but uh, what I did was I just uh, uh, shoved it into my variable power supply uh, since it's got a 19mm banana jacks on the front I can just plug stuff into it and uh, tried to a couple of different voltages and this thing starts down to 40 volts and runs just fine so I'm using this uh, to just uh, do nice switch mode power conversion down to 12 volts and the after I deleted the rectifier assembly, which had a bit of a dropout, this thing is uh, about 92% efficient powering this wireless router, so I'm having basically no losses in it. And I believe the total power consumption out of a battery is uh, about 4 watts. So that gives us about uh, 100 watts of total power consumption per day, which... Uh, even in the dark times of winter should be quite manageable. So, there you go. Truly moving into the uh, modern world. Ah, this really is way too fancy for me though. I really liked this old system. But, you have to say, it uh, is a bit cumbersome. Cheerio.